Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. Impeccability of the word can be measured by your level of self-love. If you love yourself, you'll express that love in your interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 91, NASDAQ up 18, S&P's flat. Gold, gold contract down $11.40, trading at 2008 an ounce. You get silver up 16 cents, $25.43 an ounce. Light sweet crew down a buck sixty-five, seventy-nine dollars twenty-nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note down nine ticks, trading one fourteen oh six. The thirty-year off twelve at one twenty-nine twenty-one. And king dollar, king dollar's up two hundred eighteen ticks, trading one o one nine sixty-three. The euro is at one o nine. The yen is at one thirty-four, and the British pound is at one twenty-four to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, let's get the futures up first because this is the same type of market we had yesterday. It's a slow market compared to what we've had. There's no doubt about that. And we take a look at this. And the way this is set up, I mean, you know, the spike that we had out here about 10 minutes ago. Well, that's no, it's not going to 10 minutes. Yeah, this is, so, yeah, about 50 minutes ago. Uh, got up to that uh, 4187. It can get there again. That's the bottom line. There's, there's nothing down below here that's saying it wants to go down to these levels. You know, last time we had volume on the way up was at a lower level, but that's not a, a lower, you know, bottom line. I suspect we're going to be up here. Because why? Because if we take a look at this, you know, you're, we're going to run into Thursday and Friday now. And we take a look at the spy out here. You know, you you you're right at next to this swing high. The swing high that we're talking about here is at 418.31. We've reached 415.08 thus far today. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. We take a look at the NDX. Bottom line, we just missed the high yesterday. You know, yesterday you got to a price point of 331.62, or the high is 331.60. Oh, it was 331.42 yesterday. Yeah, 43 yesterday. That's uh, 331.63. That's the number that it wants to bang out. Gold. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract, you know, got down about 20 bucks today. It rejected the lower price at 1980. But that said, check it out. You get 209,000 contracts. There's too many contracts on the way down. We're going to be right back down to that level. And we take a look at gold. I expect what you're going to see out here. We pull this up. You know, what's game here, pretty easy, is uh, basically we got down to 1980 today. You got 1972, you got 1965. Those levels there are game. You can see you came down with some heavy volume out here today. Um, you know, that being said, we're still in a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. It's going to, it will turn into a complex one, even with the, the volume today, because what we do have is that on the way up, we had a lot more than the 200,000 mark. Um, silver, silver rejected uh, 2471 today. Right now, you're at 2545. Now, this is this one gets dicey, and this is why. And what I mean by dicey is that it's like, okay, what kind of a pattern is this? So you went low at volume. You're coming into 73,000. You do you did contracts doing 71, and that's too much, too. You know, it, what it did do, though, it rejected the lower range. The lower range does start out here at the, approximately the 2486 level. And this is all going to be about the U.S. dollar, you know. Um, and when we start talking the dollar currencies, I'm man, Teddy Kegstack is also going to be doing a, a workshop, folks, right after I get off. So you can check that out right on the front page of TFNN. And if we take a look at this dollar, you're going to see right from the beginning today, it was having a hard time holding price. That's the bottom line. Uh, what we had out here is that, you know, you pushed higher. You couldn't hold the highs of the last two days. That's saying, okay, man, today's not the day that that dollar wants to go higher. 
We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. And we, we did yesterday. We did have uh, light volume yesterday. And the market had a shot to go lower today, folks. And you can see, you know, you didn't have sellers. It rejected lower price. That's a, the higher swing points a game. Uh, Tesla. Tesla's down a buck fast. 21 today. You got Amazon up 250. We got uh, First Republic Bank up 162. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness here. Uh, Intuitive Surgical is up uh, 11.59. And now check this out. This isn't doing an ABC up. And this this chart. I wish I saw this chart earlier because this is a classic time in the trade chart. So you watch this. You know we were always talking about the 2020. Uh, March 2020 level, pull this back, and you're going to see, this is an ABC up. There's 22 point more points inside it. But you can see what we're talking about here is that it comes back right to the March 2020 level, rejects the high, and then takes off like a rocket ship. Today, it's taking a swing point out, taking it out with volume. You're 300. That ABC structure is 322. It's taking the B point out. It's taking it out with volume. Inside the Dow Industrials, what do we have inside the Dow? You take a look at the Dow point-wise out here. This is what we have. You have uh, Travelers is putting 79 points, positive points. Goldman 10, American Express 10, taken away from it. United Health minus 125, uh, Cisco minus 14. You got Home Depot minus 13, and Disney minus 13. So, you know, it, it's pretty intriguing watching the volatility uh, die down. And we'll see how this shakes out, if this is just going to be a crawl higher. Oh, oil. Let's go to the oil market. We take a look at the oil market out here. So oil out here is down a buck 19. You're trading. Oh, you're going to trade into the gap. Let's see what kind of volume we got here. So you're trading into the gap. Oh, light volume. You get light volume here. But that gap's going to get filled. That's the real bottom line. I want to say hi to our man, Mr. Bill Clare. We love you, Bill. We're going to get you home. I'm so happy that you're feeling better out there, too. Our man, Mr. Bill Clare, this is Bridget's father, folks. He's 94 years old, and he just happened to have to be in the hospital for a few days, but we're getting him out of there. Wow! Wow, Bill. Can't wait to see you, man. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 75. NASDAQ's up 28. S&P's up 3. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.